In this video, we're going to talk about the new Rome Marshall. This is one of the boards from that split up of the agent leaving the line. The first being the National, and then this one, the Marshall, is more of the freestyle focus, the softer flex, the easier to engage board. It's mellow compared to the National. This is a board that you can go out and just cruise with your friends, be laid back, but push it if you have to. Was I a fan of this? Not really. This is a board that kind of just doesn't need to exist in my mind. This board features Rome's contact camber, which is completely flat. So you're not going to have positive or reverse camber in there. It's just flat. It feels like a snowboard that you've ridden for years. It's well broken in. There's still some pop to it, but you don't have to aggressively load it up to engage it. This board is available in regular and mid wide. Okay, so what's up with the Marshalls flex pattern? Well, it is one of those all mountain freestyle flex patterns that's kind of middle of the road overall, but it does have some unique flex points to it. What you're gonna notice is way out in the tips, right outside the carbon rod, there's a lot of flex. Then it stiffens up where the carbon rod is, and then it gets softer right inside the carbon rod and ever so slightly stiffens up through the middle. There's a lot of torsional flex to this board. You can really twist it when you need to, but out in the tips, because of that carbon rod, you've got a soft point and a stiff point, which really makes the board flex. Overall, this board is very lively. It's not a damp board. You're going to feel a lot of micro chatter in there. It's going to resonate underfoot when you're flat basing. You're gonna notice that the tips have a lot of flutter to them, but it stops right where that carbon rod is. That just dampens it so well that it doesn't resonate back underfoot. So any vibrations you're feeling underfoot are just a result of flat basing on this board. So we know that this board has a unique flex pattern, which obviously is going to come into play with how this board snaps. It is a very skate style snap with this board as it is flat, but you do kind of want to load this board up. And by that, I mean you want to engage that flex point right outside the carbon rod because when it rebounds, you're going to snap and pop. On jumps, this board's perfectly at home from small to large. You're going to be able to just pop right off the lip with ease. You don't have to aggressively load it. It's not like traditional camber as it is flat. It does what you need it to do, and that's it. So let's talk about the sweet spot for presses and buttering. It's right outside that carbon rod. That's right where you want to engage this board. You really want to get your weight over the tip and lock it into that flex point. This board will fight you. You will notice that you're not going to just be able to set it and forget it. You have to come into it with a little bit of speed and you have to keep your weight over the tips. Doesn't matter if you're buttering or jibbing, that's how you wanna do it. Now overall with jibbing as this board is a flat profile, it locks into rails, you can get sideways, you can feel it, hug it. You don't really have to worry about it. It's going to do what you need it to do. This board is lively, so when you're on edge, be prepared to just get bucked around from time to time, especially if you get into uneven terrain. You're just going to feel that this board isn't as solid as other decks in the Rome line. Now with that said, this board does carve well. It rolls from edge to edge. You don't have to worry about it hooking up. When you're in a carve, if you drive your knee into the center of the board, you'll be able to slingshot it out of a turn. It really does excel at long drawn out carves more than tight, quick, snappy ones in my opinion. So the Marshall is basically what became of the agent. They split it into two boards, the National and the Marshall. The Marshall is a little bit more the freestyle focused one. It's a little more playful. It's a little more lively. This is a quiver of one type of board for the guy that wants an all mountain freestyle board that doesn't have limitations. Something that they can play with, get out there and butter around with. Overall, I'm more of a national guy and I think that's the better board and this kind of overlaps it. So is, is it a bad board? No. Is it a good board? No. It's a fucking snowboard. It'll do snowboard things and that's kind of where I want to leave it with this board. John, what do you think? God, you're worthless. He's so fucking worthless. Why do I even have an inanimate co-host? What did I do to deserve this? Okay, so let's check out some other boards that are comparable to the new Marshall from Rome. The DC Ply. The Marhar Regent. The Arbor Coda. 
Your choice in camber profile, obviously. The Dinosaurs Will Die Larson. The Capita Outsiders. The Niche New. Remember to comment, share, subscribe, and like this video. That way you can see all the relevant or irrelevant snowboarding content that we're putting out for you guys. So smash that bell down below, that way you're getting a notification. And I'll see you guys in another video. If you've been enjoying all these product reviews, and you haven't been buying through our affiliate program, which is down there, why don't you check out our Patreon? This is a great way for you to get involved with us. There's some great rewards on there, and it helps fund us so we can do more product reviews 